Hello, everybody, and welcome to the NFT AMA for Artists and Creatives. Uh, over I see you're in the audience, so hey there. Feel free to type out any questions you have. Uh, I'm just going to start off by kind of going through the Mintbase platform on mainnet. Um, obviously, we have testnet as well. So as I go through, please just type out any of your questions. I'm kind of having two screens out, so it's kind of hard for me to see sometimes, uh, but I'll give a quick overview. So. As you come to mintbase.io, so for anyone watching on YouTube or anywhere else, it's just mintbase.io. You can see the URL up here. Um, and we are currently on the near mainnet. You can switch to the near testnet and you can switch to Ethereum. So if you click Ethereum here, it'll actually switch you to the mintbase uh, platform on Ethereum and you'll be able to mint there. Uh, it costs quite a bit. And um, that's not the purpose of today's video, but it does, you do have that functionality. Popping back to Mintbase on the near blockchain, you can see here that I am connected, it'll say connected to wallet, but after a few seconds, uh, it'll connect to the wallet that I have. Um, if you click on this tab, you'll it'll bring you to your other accounts and you'll be able to quickly log in to your other near accounts. So I can go here and click close the dev near and it will log me into close the dev near at the top right. You can see uh, I have 4.52 near in this account. Um, and you can click marmaj.near, and then you'll be able to log into that account, and you'll see that I have 203.83 uh, near in this account. If you want to see more information about the account, you can click here, um, and it should bring up the Explorer from what I remember uh, for the account. Um, but anyways, let's see, or yeah, let's click your account again. Regardless, we're going to head back to the main page. You click this little logo in the top left to get back to the main page and you can see the top right. Look, as we've had this video, one new store got created. So uh, a total of 146 stores have been created. Those are uh, smart contracts on the near blockchain. Uh, those have been created. Uh, three, 530 near has been earned by people who are selling their NFTs so far on Mintbase. On uh, near 3,622 NFTs have been minted on those NFT smart contract stores. Um, there have been a total of 190 minters. Um, so each NFT store, each smart contract can have a mint has a minter. So Marma J dot near. So if I go to my base uh, and I'll be able to see, oh, I can deploy a store, but I don't have a store yet. If I go to Chloe dot near you'll see that I've actually already deployed a store and this store is the Chloe store. Uh, the minter for the store is myself. In this top right hand corner, you can see that I can now mint, but I could also go to my settings and I could add a minter. So I could, you know, put Bianca.mir and I can grant permission. Um, and then this would allow uh, Bianca, my fiance, to mint on my store. Um, yeah, so it would actually be kind of cool. Also, I'm thinking of, oh, I had a wonderful idea just now. We're gonna try something out. I am very excited about this. Um, so we're gonna go back to the main page though. We're gonna go through it. And we also have 1,050 tokens that have been listed on the block on the Mint-based marketplace. Uh, so you can see the marketplace here. This is where NFTs are for sale. You can see this NFT is for sale for 29 near. There's some for one near, 15 near. And you can also sort them by, for example, memberships. Uh, so, so Vadim, who is a developer on the developer relations team at Near, uh, created these memberships. And actually, in the, the Telegram bot that he created, where you can tip and vote, you could tip Near and vote on Sputnik DAO proposals. That's just the DAO framework we have at Near. Not that important uh, in case you care about on chain governance. And then it's very important. We have a hackathon going on right now, which we'll talk about later. Um, but he created these wonderful membership badges that you could actually buy, you can trade. Uh, if you buy this badge, you will actually have the logo in the Telegram group. So if I buy this near whale NFT for 60 near uh, on clue.near and I go into the Telegram group for near protocol, I will have the near whale uh, badge in my Telegram group. So buenos tardes, Chloe. Uh, how much near does it cost to start a store on mint base? So it costs seven near. So I'm actually gonna go through the minting process right now and there's actually a bounty out right now, which I'll also show you, you which you can show your community, where you can get free uh, near for your store. So you can actually see a lot of people are using this bounty already. Um, if I drop in here, you'll see that 
Uh, see, someone said, hello, I am requesting eight near to create a store on mintbase.io. My Twitter is dot uh, ago underscore Benan. Uh, I, would, I would suggest putting a link uh, to your Twitter, but you know, not bad. Uh, I plan to mint pictures drawn by me and photography. My wallet name is Yana.near. Uh, thank you. So they did that, and if you scroll to the very top of this, vi actually, I can just remove this part of the URL, and it'll give me the top, because um, it's gonna take forever to scroll to the top. But you can see, onboarding new users to Mintbase on Near. Um, if store creation is a seven Near, and plus we're also giving one Near for minting NFTs and doing transactions, so eight Near. Uh, and I added this today, so please add a link to your social media, a Twitter, Instagram, so we can kind of see who you are, promote you, get in touch, and the description of what you plan to mint. So just like you saw in that uh, example, um, I should also put in this that people should go to the Create Base Sputnik DAO. <laughs> um, uh, so, oops, I'm not gonna reply. So we're gonna do some live editing to this bounty and I'll drop the link in it right after. So please add that uh, and then take the link to your forum, reply and submit a payout proposal for eight near to the face. A big DAO, wonderful. So you can do that. So I will drop this link in the chat right here. Uh, that'll give you the cost of seven near. It'll let you know you can get one extra near and you can actually do this. Um, and so, and you can tell your community to do, to do this as well. Um, so if we get back to this page, sorry. Um, yes, so you could actually see on our Sputnik DAO, there have been other people who are, so all these people here, so photography.near, um, oops, oh. Yeah, I set one up, this one was wrong. But all these people here have been requesting payouts for eight near uh, to get their store started. And these have all been successful so far. And so we've been paying out people to kind of get started uh, with their stores. So this is a pretty cool project though, where you can, so CreateBase is planning on hopefully doing this as well, uh, where users can just come on the near marketplace, uh, purchase one of these NFTs, and they'll have a cool name in CreateBase. And, the, the proceeds earned, so on Mint, on Mintbase, you can have split royalties and split fees. I'll talk about that soon. And in those split royalties and fees, we're gonna put some of them going back to the CreateBase DAO. So by buying and selling these badges on Telegram or on and as NFTs, you'll actually be helping to support. Um, you'll be showing off your wonderful uh, badge name, but also supporting the CreateBase DAO. So let's go to the Create section. I'm actually very excited for this because this is gonna be very, very fun. I am going to create a new store, uh, and this new store name is going to be Marmaje. Uh, its symbol is going to be, haven't decided yet, uh, Marmaje Gallery, I actually haven't decided. Um, <laughs> so we are going to deploy this store from Chloe.near, okay? So this is, oh shoot, this is the problem. So it takes seven near, insufficient funds. So this is actually good, I'm able to show. Um, my available balance is 1.15 near. I actually went up a little bit. <laughs> Reserved for fees, I have 0 0.35 near, and uh, the available to transfer is only 0 0.8. So I do not have enough, but uh, 0 0.8. See, I always do that. And then, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to actually go to another one of my tabs. So let's have fun doing that real quick. <laughs> uh, and let's open up the near wallet. So wallet.near.org will bring you straight there. Uh, if you're here, you should please note. But anyways, I received point one near from the Sputnik DAO. So thank you very much. I had an approved proposal, uh, it looks like. So we are going to go to marmaj.sputnikdao.near. And we are gonna send myself um, a few near. So we are gonna send myself 
um, 21, and we are going to send it to Chloe uh, Near. Oops, I can't spell today. But I love the Near wallet because it'll let you know when an account doesn't exist, and it will actually say user found and check to make sure it does exist. And um, so, yeah, we will confirm that transaction. Oops. My ledger is actually currently set to Ethereum. Uh, I was doing some fun Ethereum stuff over the past couple of days. So back to near now. Uh, so we accept that wonderful transaction. And then on this side, hopefully we will see that we have more and we'll be able to use the fun success. Woohoo! Um, we might have to refresh the transaction. So wow, what happens if we refresh the page? Oh, look, it worked. That's cool. And it worked with the same details, just for refreshing. That's cool. Let's allow. See what happens. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, my clothes out near is like my test just having fun wallet. So I always just send people near names and just do random stuff and or buy NFTs. Um, and buying NFTs quickly depletes my account back to uh, zero. Um, so we'll head back to Mintbase. You'll see store deployed. Wonderful. Um, so now you can choose which store do you want to go to. I want to go to the Marma J store. But what I just remembered, I'm so excited for this, is that I can go to settings and I could add a minter. So actually, I'm not going to test this right now because that I don't want to test my first mint uh, right now. But Marma J near. And now I can grant permission to Marma J near to mint on this store, right? This is going to be the fun part. Um, because ledgers right now can't create stores because the icon um, on the store is actually too large, apparently. I don't really know. Um, but it doesn't work. So, but you can, maybe you can mint using a ledger. So what would be cool would be to figure out, because um, now I can create on Marma J and I can go to the mint stage. Ha ha ha. Um, but I might not be able to mint an actual NFT, but I will try this later to see if I can. Um, but what I will do is I will go to Chloe.near um, and I will go to create and I will go to, and I can also go to this Marmaday store. So as you can see, um, whether I'm on Chloe.near or whether I'm on uh, Marmaday.near, uh, on Marmaday.near, when I go to create, I only see um, Marmaday, but actually, I have a great way of testing this. So the way I'm going to test this is I'm going to go to Chloe.near. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to no. I'm going to go to the Chloe store because this is just a fun store. No big deal. And I'm going to add marmaday.near to the settings for this store as well. Uh, this will redirect to the wallet. Uh, no big deal. We're going to allow. Should always check more information, to be honest. You never know where someone's direct redirecting you. But again, this is my fun account, just for fun, clue out near, no big issue here. Um, okay, and now we are back here. So now I'm actually gonna change back to marmaj.near. Um, and again, then we are going to go to my stores, marmaj. Actually, no, I lied, we're gonna go to Chloe. Um, and we are going to actually mint something. So we're going to try this out. We're going to mint one NFT. We're going to upload an image. Um, what images do we have that would be fun to mint? I actually have no clue. I want to mint something somewhat reasonable. You know, like I don't want to mint. Oh, I could mint like a create base logo. That'd be fun. Mint it on testnet as a test. Let's do it. Let's mint, or let's mint my avatar. That's more fun. It has a little white thing around it though, which isn't fun. So maybe let's not. See, this is, this is what takes me the longest when it make, comes to decision making. There we go, I found it. Sorry, it took me a little while to find the appropriate image without the, uh, <laughs> without the white border around it, but you'll see it soon. This is just my normal avatar. My fiance created it for me. Um, and so we're gonna mint it. 
don't know why. But look, it's the part that is working is now the forever royalties are not showing Chloe.near. So even though I am this store is the Chloe.near store, right? This is the Chloe store, uh, the royalties are going to Marma J. So if anyone buys this token, it's going to Marma J. So this way, the really cool thing about this, from in my opinion, is that the Marma J account can mint on other stores all over the world, right? And ensure that the Marma J Foundation is getting the royalty. So I'm gonna keep Rose at 100%, and I'm just gonna be like, Chloe X Bianca. Um, and and it's gonna be like Chloe does I can't spell today, so you know. There you go. So I actually like putting new names in. Okay, so Chloe the Devs, Avatar, and I can't spell, drawn by Bianca.near, after four tags. What are we going to call this? Um, sure, I like tagging all of her art that she creates just by the first name. Um, let's actually, I'm going to do all lowercase just because <laughs> all her stuff is lowercase. Uh, Chloe um, Profile. I don't know. All right. <laughs> I don't know. This is mostly just a test, but we're testing on mainnet. Why not, right? Um, and then for a split, so you can split these forever royalties. So you could say, okay, well, Chloe's in it. So let's give Chloe dot near nineteen percent of this split. So it's going to be the royalties are ten percent of the sale. So if this NFT sells for one near. 10% of it will be royalties. So that's 0.1 near is royalties. Then you're further splitting that 0.1 near into these other percents. So Mara G gets 81 so far, Chloe.near gets 19, Bianca.near, oops. I'm using a Portuguese keyboard, so bear with me. Uh, 21%, and let's do some fun stuff. Let's do like Amory.near, and let's do, um, Eight, uh, 19, 8.19, 8 can I do that? Oh, it does work, decimals are working now. Okay, sorry, I'm just, it excites me. Uh, they weren't working before. And like Nika, the uh, near. So you can put a bunch of split royalties in there. Uh, what are you gonna have, Nika? Let's put you, we met you in December? I can't remember. But let's put like 12. Um, oops, Nika dot near. So you can put a bunch of splits. Uh, how many accounts can the, the royalty be? Um, so you could put quite a few. So I think uh, the someone has put up to 40 different accounts, um, but the, royal, the NFT standard only allows for 10. So what that, what that means is that if you use more than the 10 uh, required, you'll be able to have your NFT listed on Mintbase and the, ro the royalty should work perfectly fine. Um, what that does mean is that if you go to a third party platform other than Mintbase with your NFT, they might not understand how to, you know, track the royalties for NFT on their marketplace. Um, but 10 is the standard amount. Um, so this is the NFT, this is that. So if anyone buys this, the royalties will be split to Marmaday.near, Chloe.near, Bianca.near, Amy.near, and Mika.near. We are going to mint. I'm gonna mint eight of these awkwardly. That's too many, right? How many should I mint, Bianca? I think eight's a good amount. Cause I feel like I would, I would, I would laugh at sending you one and my mom and, my, and myself actually, and other people. Four, okay. Bianca says I should do four. So we're gonna mint four of these. And then in the split revenue, this is the one time sale. And the reason I enjoy this is because you could take art now that the Marmor J Foundation is minting it, and you could say that on the first sale, 100% of the split is going to the Marmor J Foundation. Now, am I actually gonna sell this uh, avatar? No, uh, probably not. Um, I might you know, put one up on offer just for fun, um, but yeah. Anyways, 
Uh, for the dates, you could add some dates in there. So usually I add some fun dates. Like I'll go up here and I'll just be like, okay, you know, July 30th to, okay, cool. I'll put some dates in there. Oops. Why is it? Oops. Okay. Now, now I'm just clicking a bunch of random numbers. Okay. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. There we go. Took me a while, but I got there eventually. You can put it. So you can put um, media in there in general. So there's all these different types of media you could be adding to your NFT. You could do PDF. So I actually have quite a few ideas for the Mara J Foundation, the foundation I run, where I would like to give out membership uh, NFTs. And then I'm going to be putting a PDF in the NFT, explain like what, what membership is for, what you can do with it, kind of like a brochure about the product. You can put your location. So I always put um, the Marma J Foundation as a location. Uh, I'm gonna maybe type out the whole thing, aren't you? Um, you know, so you can add a location. People can figure out where your event's gonna be. Um, you could also add in the website. So let's add in um, marmaj.org slash Chloe. Perfect. So we're just gonna copy that. We're gonna head back over. We are gonna, and then you can add custom data as well. But we are not gonna do any custom data. We are gonna have these be our splits, uh, split revenue all to Marma J just for fun. Uh, we are gonna hit mint. It will redirect to. Oops. Let's see what will happen. I have no clue what will happen actually. So let's do this. Um, I actually think this will fail. Um, because so more information i think it will fail because of the icon of the store but um hopefully this works and yeah i don't think it'll work oh shoot testing in production here ladies and gentlemen testing in production it worked that was fun so i'm actually gonna quickly Go to Telegram. I'm just telling some developers that it, it should work. So yeah, I'm just saying that maybe it's a similar flow, but yeah, I minted it. So I was able to, on the Chloe store, so it should work for the Marma J store as well, I would assume, or maybe because the icon was already there for this store, the Chloe store, it's not the same. Um, but either way, having it being two steps should work. Um, anyways, yeah, so that's pretty cool. We have this Chloe NFT. Uh, Yes, <laughs> you can do the eight uh, and you can keep minting. So the idea here is that if I was like, okay, you know what, uh, Bianca, I want more of these badges, right? I can just go and say plus and I can just mint 10 more, I think at a time. Yeah, so I can mint 10 more, confirm and I'll mint 10 more. So for example, if I was doing this more like for real, uh, I would have said like, hey, my name is Chloe. This is my card, like, you know, you could reach me at these three locate, you know, reach me at anywhere at Chloe the Dev. Uh, you know, thank you for you know receiving my NFT, right? And I could now I could send this. So if I want to send, I could be like, you know what, Bianca, you get one. Um, let's send one. I think it's kind of funny. Um, I'm not even sure who else should get one, but let's just keep it at. Oh, let's do Amory. Can get one and we hit transfer and then it's that easy it gives us a big green check mark when it's the correct account uh it goes to marma j dot near we hit a lot and we're actually again we're on marma j we have to allow for marma j we're using the actual ledger and we will batch transfer so now the batch the, we're calling a batch transfer function and that batch transfer function as you could assume is transferring nfts in a batch um, so we have these two NFTs in the Chloe store. 
We have no NFTs in the Marma J store, but what this means, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> is that potentially I'll be able to mint an NFT tonight on the Marma J store, let's see, uh, for the Marma J memberships. Very exciting. It might not work though, because um, as you can see the Chloe store, uh, let's see, let's go to base. The Chloe store already has an icon, uh, whereas the Marma J store does not. Uh, but the store thing might not be part of the standard. And so it might just be a web to display of the store. So not that important. So we've got, we're about halfway through the like NFT artist AMA. And so Orver, thank you for your questions. Um, and please continue to ask them about you know anything you'd like to know about getting started. I mean, we just minted an NFT. If you'd like one of these random NFTs, <laughs> feel free to have, feel free to ask. I'll drop you one. Um, you can make your own though. I feel like it's more fun to kind of make your own NFTs than anything else at this point. Um, but now I'm, I usually kind of just start, if no one has any questions, kind of start talking about the hackathons, people's projects. Um, Cause in my opinion, like the best way to get involved with Nier at this point uh, and with mint based NFTs is the hackathon. Um, mainly because you can earn like, so I mean, first things first, um, we can go to uh, the CreateBase website and get to the hackathon page um, and kind of drop in from there. So createbase.community uh, slash hackathon. I'll drop that link here. How much near per mint? It's like 0 0.0001 or something like that. It's about 400 mints per near. It's uh, minuscule. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, you won't notice uh, the mint amounts. Uh, cost, but um, you do have to pay 0.1 near per listing, and so that is where there is a cost. So you could mint, you could have fun, you can send them to friends, you could build out a whole project. Um, but when you want to list something on the mint based marketplace, you do have to pay 0.1 near for storage um, on the platform. So here we go. I'm going to send you one of these random tokens that I created, and you know what, just for fun, to um, so yeah, transferring costs like less than, so yeah, it's like, it's, it's very inexpensive to transfer and uh, m like, just like, yeah, mint and all that stuff, very inexpensive. Um, creating a store, costs a lot of storage. Oh, transaction failed. Oh, it said it's actually canceled, not even transaction failed. So maybe I just hit cancel. I feel like on my ledger, I mean, by accident. So let's try that again, sorry. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm pretty sure Ledger usage on Mintbase has not been tested very much yet. Okay, there it worked, so we're good to go. Um, cool, cool, cool. So as we go to the hackathon, I mean, and we'll keep talking about Mintbase, don't worry, because there are Mintbase bounties as well. Uh, so we can kind of jump in there and see what we're working on. Uh, do I have to mint my on another marketplace or letting them sit on Mintbase will attract buyers as well? Um, so you can you can definitely feel free to clarify your question. Um, kind of, it seems like you're asking about attracting buyers. Um, and so I'm not really sure what, what other marketplaces you're speaking of specifically um, for your NFTs. Um, so maybe you can clarify your question a little bit. Um, but the mint-based marketplace is here. Um, and so you can see everything that's been listed. Um, so as I was, sorry, as I was saying, I didn't go through this part yet, the, the listing part, but you just click this um, like dollar sign button um, and you can choose a price. So I'll choose one near, but I'll do silent auction just to like put it up there. Um, and you can kind of just, you know, start a silent auction and then do, 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 after you approve all of the function arguments, you should have it say approved, transferred successfully. Actually, they made it a lot cheaper to list just now. That was only 0 
four four. We can act, we can double check it. We can we can dig into the wallet. You know, we can go into the method we just called. We can view on the explorer, and we can see how much the transaction fee was. So yeah, the deposit value was actually cheaper. So I thought it was that I was saying in this video that it was point one near to uh, list something for sale. It seems like they dropped it uh, down to point zero zero four four. Uh, so um, minuscule amounts also to list something for sale, it seems. Um, so yeah, now we're back here. You can see you can see the listing, um, right? And so for example, if I shared this with you in the chat, you'd be able to see this listing. And so you could put this listing anywhere you'd like. People would be able to see that listing. Um, and then purchase um, the NFT. So they can see, um, they can upvote it, for example. So I'll upvote my own art, why not? Um, they can see the Rweave data. So you can see exactly where it, where it's being stored on Rweave. You can see the location. So if this was an event token, um, you can see the location for where the event's gonna be. You can see um, the start date and the end date of the event. So let's say it was a festival. Um, you can see the full smart contract and, and the full store for the event. Maybe you wanna buy other tickets in other seats. You can go to the full store, and let's say you want to see like say this was a ticket for you know front stage at this music festival 2021 uh, only offer system. You could then see offers um, and start you know putting bids. I obviously can't put a bid on the offer because I own it, but let's say I went to Chloe.near and then I went to this link. Do, 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 do. then we'd be able to add an offer. So this will actually be fun. I actually will do this because this is the kind of stuff I like to do. I don't want someone to actually buy this. Um, so I'm gonna make an offer. Um, let's say I offer, I don't have much near on me, eh? But let's do 13.19, right? So I'm gonna make an offer for 13 near, and you can see there's a bunch of splits in this. So. The 10% royalties are going to go to the AC people. The split revenue, 85% goes to the Mario J Foundation. And okay, so I make the offer under Chloe.near. It's going to redirect me to um, the wallet, mintbase.io. Um, we're going to allow, no need for a ledger this time because Chloe.near is not um, secured by a ledger. So it's just going to transfer. Wonderful. Yippee. Um, and then, so now we know there has been a total of uh, 13.1 offered. If I go to open orders, um, is that up yet? No, not up yet. Um, but now I can switch to my armor J dot near and I can actually see if open orders works here. Nope. Um, so now we can go to base. We can go to this token that we just talked about. Uh, we can go to see offers. So soon this will all be a bit easier. So soon you'll be just able to go to here, um, open orders, and it'll show you what's been offered to me, my offers that have exp that, that, uh, expired. But for now, uh, we still have to go to the actual NFT. Um, so this will all be sorted soon. And so now I can actually take this offer or I'm assuming this other one means refund it. Oh, no, you can see it on the Explorer. So you can actually see it on the blockchain and see what this offer looks like. So you could see, you know, Chloe.near offered the market, uh, the price 13.19 near, there's the decimal places, 24 decimal places for near. And you can see all the details of what happened. So um, I'll drop this here. If, you, if you're like, uh, you know, a nerd like me and you wanna see like what actually happened, the transaction and how it got added um, to the platform. But then I can actually take that um, offer. So the Marmaj Foundation, Marmaj.near is now gonna take this offer. Um, we're going to, you can see more information, so you can see that token is the sixth token under the Chloe store. So chloe.mintbase1.near. So this is the, the smart contract, chloe.mintbase1.near. This is the token ID, um, and that's the token I am um, per, uh, authorizing. So we're going to go back to my ledger. I'm going to approve it on my ledger. And then we are going to be sent directly back 
to the mint base platform where we are now going to see some really cool stuff. So we can now see we've pulled out 13.19 mirror from this NFT. We will actually also see this is kind of cool. We'll see this number go up. So now there's been more near earned on the platform. There's been one new store created, right? These numbers were at 145 when we started, 146 halfway through, you know, five minutes in, and now 147. There's been over a thousand NFTs li uh, listed, um, and we've earned a bit more. So we can go to margin.near, and now we can go to what we've earned, and it'll now show this NFT. It'll say we've earned 12.19, and you'll you'll see that. Okay, so we sold this NFT for more than that, but we only actually earned uh 12.19 because there was 2.5 percent going to so we can actually click the token and we can actually the exact splits um but again 2.5 went to mint base uh 85 80 87.5 went to marma j and then there was some other splits here as well and some more marma j splits so that's how you can kind of see how that whole process would work um and yeah you can start seeing how you can earn on nfts this is interesting here. We see I, I earned it from Chloe.near. Um, so that was the buyer of the token. So if I go back to now Chloe.near, oops, you'll be able to see my base. And you can see that I actually own this token now. Uh, it's part of my collection. And I like it that way. So now I, I own my own token. Um, so yeah. And that's how you would, uh, you know, get these things sold and started. Um, you know, Harvard, you have one, Bianca has one thing. Yeah. So that's pretty much the full flow. Um, yeah. So going to pop into more like hackathon type stuff. So we do have the mint based bounty for the hackathon. I'll pop, I'll pop into those real quick. Um, I mean, they are important. I mean, you can, I mean, there's lots of near available, you know, for getting started. So up to a thousand near for the project. Um, the first thing we're working on, we, we already have a team working on this for the lock function. Um, so, you know, that lock function means only the owner of an NFT can view the content either put inside of the NFT or like, let's say a website. So let's say, or, you know, a private discord or anything else. But the idea is by having an NFT in your wallet, you'll be able to access certain different, you know, website resources uh, as part of that bounty most purposeful nfts in my opinion one of the coolest bounties is just like create an nft and give it some purpose so like i said uh for vadim uh there was the use case of telegram groups um and having nfts be um badges that you can buy and sell super cool and super useful in my opinion um and there was one more, yeah, a redeeming app. So the ability to be able to redeem NFTs for physical goods, um, in my opinion, super cool. Um, so those are the three Mintbase-esque uh, bounties for this hackathon. And the hackathon goes until June 6th. So we're you know, a week or two, you know, a week and a half into it so far, but we do have some time still. Um, and we're looking for you know any ideas that solve problems that creators face in the Web3 space. So it's very open. And it's very vague on purpose. So if you see a problem in the Web3 space, then please help us during this hackathon uh, hack at solving these problems. So we have eight different topics, and I'll go through them very briefly, and then I'll kind of go into the forum and start digging into people's ideas and projects. Um, so we have, again, over 15000 near and over $20,000 in prizes. Um, and you can like design, build, and the more you do that, the more you'll earn. So we have the virtual reality DAO. We have the generative art DAO, NFT onboarding, near NXM, which is near music. We have NFT gaming, social tokens, Figment Learn, and MetaGov. That's a lot. A lot of different ways to kind of get started. And honestly, I see this as like a choose your own adventure type of scenario. Um, so when you get to this section of this, you know, hackathon page, in my opinion, just kind of dig in where you kind of be most interested and start there with the guide. So the two lowest hanging fruit we've seen, so, you know, VR, virtual reality, you know, you can talk about things like Somnium Space, Crypto Voxels, uh, Mint Base is going to give everyone a virtual space uh, for free when they have a store, is, you know, it's part of an idea. Uh, generative art is the idea of, it's kind of complicated, but having an algorithm that generates NFTs based on um, the data you give it. Um, so that could be a really cool idea of, you know, mass producing artwork on chain. Uh, NFT onboarding is low-hanging fruit, for example, of, you know, for the Marma J Foundation, like I said, our next uh, 
category is going to be the NFT onboarding one, where we're going to talk about how we're going to use our NFT badges to really start to let people know whether, whether they're part of our community or not. And the idea as well, I think is really cool is like with this Telegram bot, um, if anyone that has the NFT could also get a Telegram title, then all of a sudden you can make it so that anyone who buys your NFTs can be known in Telegram um, as a, a, you know, a high value community member. That's pretty cool. Um, near music. So any, if you have any involvement in music whatsoever, uh, pop into the near music guild now and, you know, submit some projects there. Maybe about how to get artists and musicians on board, how to get a recording studio in space. So maybe you're a wonderful artist. You're, you perform every day physically, but you don't have a place to record in your local area. So maybe you want to set up a DAO or a, a way that, you know, uh, artists can support each other in that way. You definitely jump in there into that guide. NFT gaming, we haven't seen much traction there yet, but any way in which we think NFTs can be used for games. So the process we just went through, uh, can you see that being used for games like chess, card games, uh, Axie Infinity is one of the largest games out there right now, and they use kind of an NFT card system. Uh, we have social tokens, again, low-hanging fruit. Maybe you see social tokens can be used in your community system um, for creative. So for the Marmaday Day Foundation, we started here. Um, and I I'll actually, I'll pop into that one in a second, kind of going deeper there. Uh, we have Figment Learn, where if you actually want to create different learning tutorials, uh, and you want to earn from creating guides, tutorials in the Web3 space, you can drop in there for the guide. And MetaGov is more about uh, on-chain governance and figuring out how we can govern our communities and govern these, not only on-chain actually, but governance in general of these Web3 communities and open source communities. I'm going to pop in to social tokens though, because that was a lot. And VR, generative art, NFT onboarding, NXM DAO, NFT gaming, and social tokens all follow the same format. And that format is listed right below here under how to earn. So the how to earn for these six DAOs is a ideation, you could earn 10 near for that, founded words, project presentation, uh, you know, five to 10 slides, you could earn 20 near for that. Video demo, you could earn 30 near for doing the three to five, three to five minute video about your project. And full GitHub submission, you could earn 40 near for that. And if you need more information about any of that, um, you know, we'll add the information there in the learn more section. We also have work workshops we've done. And so actually we need to add the workshop for the ideation session here. And we have a workshop for the video, pro uh, sorry. We have ideation workshops done. We have project presentation workshops done and we have a video demo workshop tomorrow night uh, or tomorrow. Um, but let's just jump into one of these because that's a lot of information. And a lot of it, honestly, isn't that important to get started? Because uh, all you really have to do is look here, uh, click a guide, and just jump in to getting started um, for this hackathon. So let's pop into this guide and let's see. So you can see, welcome to the social tokens category of the Create Base Hackathon. And actually, Nicole from Seed Club, who's on the council of the DAO, put a wonderful guide for some hackathon design challenges. So if you want some ideas for how to get started, you can look at, you know, maybe viral onboarding. So different bonuses or airdrops using social tokens. So different tokens that you might launch on near or other blockchains, uh, playful growth strategies, like maybe staking and earn mechanisms, curation games. So maybe you want to have a system where people can earn tokens for curating NFTs to be sold on your platform or maybe artists can earn tokens every time they mint or sell something on your on your NFT store. That might be really cool. And then, you know, maybe accessible educational UX. So e.g. Per easy purchase uh, of social tokens via a landing page. So I'll do a quick display of the Marma J uh, Foundation's submission. Um, and then we can kind of go from there and kind of see, you know, how that works. So for the, I'll share it in the, in the link in the tab as well, so people can kind of follow along. You don't just have to follow my stream uh, if you wouldn't like. But here's our example, um, and this is by no means uh, like the best way of doing it or like the most correct way of doing it. Um, but this is what was our, our idea of how we thought we can kind of support the Web3 space through a social token idea. So we decided to have a DAO called the Marma J Sputnik DAO, where we're going to get all of our payouts. Um, and for transparency, so that every all of our parents need a forum post. Um, and so to get started, 
um, we have some general token economics. So we decided to mint the token. Um, so you can kind of click this link here and see more about our token and how I got started. Um, and so you can see we created the token here. Is, and so this is the idea of our hackathon presentation. We wanted to show everyone all the information needed about the project. So we minted 21,019 tokens and there are 24 decimal places in near. So you can see that there. Uh, and this is all the extra data. This is the icon as well. So I was talking about earlier where you just sign for an icon in the standard. This is the icon for the uh, fungible token standard that was needed. So this is the create token on TKN.near. And if you want to get started yourself on that, um, TKN, oops, TKN.farm, uh, you can get started right now and create your own token right now. So I'll just quickly, quickly go over this. Um, but this is the Marma J token. I created it. This is the total supply. It has liquidity of, you know, 33 near, um, and you can add it to your wallet. So if you want to whitelist our token, feel free to come here, uh, and whitelist the, the Marma J token. Um, but getting back, let's close some my, I have way too many tabs open. Let's get back to the ideation. So that's just the token getting started. Then we decided, okay, well, people need to trade this token. So we're going to make three pairs on ref.finance. So if you want to see our most active pair, it's the W near, it's the wrapped near to Marmor J pair. And this is our liquidity. So right now, if I wanted to add some more liquidity, um, and then I wanted to, let's say I wanted to add 10 Marmor J tokens, I'd have to add 11 near. Okay, so that's kind of how added liquidity would work for the Marma J Foundation side. But also if someone wanted to buy or sell, uh, someone can go to the swap. Um, they could just say, okay, you know what? I have 10 Marma J tokens and I want to get some uh, some near, sorry, some, some ETH. Uh, you get a very, very, very little bit of ETH. And because it's an AMM, you probably wouldn't get much more ETH even if you had, see, it wouldn't even allow you to swap because there's not enough uh, liquidity would even work. So the idea is to add more liquidity and allow the tokens to be used more efficiently. So people can trade. So let's take probably our more liquid pair so we can kind of see what it looks like. Um, if I wanted to sell 10 Marma J tokens, um, I would get 7.29 uh, wrapped near, but I would like to make this a more liquid pair. So getting back to our ideation, um, sorry, it actually opened in the same tab instead of opening in a new tab. So let's go back to the ideation. So, okay, so we have decided that we're also gonna have an endi pair and a wrapped ETH pair. So that's that people can trade this token. Uh, and, you know, you, you know, so we said we're gonna have a point, uh, 0.211 trading pair fee on the, on the, the market. Um, and we are gonna be adding liquidity mostly to this Marma J wrapped near pair. So then we get down to our focus and what we're really going to do for our ecosystem and how it's really going to help. So that was just, you know, what the token is uh, and now what we're actually going to do with it. So our idea and when we get into NFTs is we want to make sure that everyone can see our DAO proposals on our website. So we're hopefully going to have a website. The website is marmaj.org, which we already have, but we don't have any of this Web3 content yet. Um, so we want to see everyone can see all of our DAO proposals. Um, so everything's very transparent within our community. Next, we want to have a basic price graph for the Marma J token. So people in the community should see how much the token's worth at any given time. So right now, each token's worth about point, uh, seems like 0.729 near, um, but everyone should be able to see that. What's the price in DAI, what's the price in ETH, and what's the price in near. Uh, then we want to have simple buy and sell functions. So as I said, we have ref finance for that, but in my opinion, we should have something very simple for users to just buy, sell, and to which token and you know, how much. Um, and hopefully Ref Finance V2 allows us to get done uh, quite efficiently. And this is the part where we really want to get start getting focused into NFTs is we want a wallet that displays all of your near um, tokens, your Marma J token balance, so your fungible token balance, and the wallet should display your NFT balance. So we're not really sure if in the first iteration of our UI, uh, it'll actually show all your NFTs or we'll just kind of, you know, so for example, if someone's logged into our UI with Chloe.near uh, and they click this, you know, sh take us to our NFT, you know, gallery. What we're hoping to do is actually use uh, Lewis's VR uh, gallery. So I don't know if I can find this. Um, web X, um, yeah, it's on, on my mobile device, I'm pretty sure. 
But every single um, okay, I'm gonna have to find this now because I have five minutes left in this AMA and it's super cool. Um, and I want here we go. So if you want to see what everyone's gonna have in VR very soon. You could see what my partner store looks like right now in VR. And I can also show you what the store I made looks like in VR. So let's go back here and let's first go in VR and see. Oops. And see what that looks like. So we can visit the space. And now we can actually walk around and see this is the Bianca store. And this is the NFTs Bianca has minted. So I'm walking around right now. I didn't make this. I didn't build this. This is automatically pre-configured. And to prove to you that I did not make or do anything to this, I will change Bianca up here with Chloe. And I will enter. And it. I hit visit space. And here we go. We can see the NFT that I just minted. I didn't. I've been live this whole time. This has been created. So if you want to do a little sneak peek and you can try out your own store, you can make a store on Mintbase. You could take this link, uh, replace the URL uh, at the top here with your store, and you will be able to see the store in VR. Uh, there's also a little hidden link as well that I can try and find for you guys real quick where you'll be able to see all the stores uh, as they've been streamed. Um, here, we'll, we'll find that fun link for everybody. So who, everyone who's here gets to get some fun little uh, links. But there's also this link here where you can see all the stores that anyone has created. So let's come here. Let's see all the stores and stream through. And the real cool thing about this, in my opinion, is now we can start going through who have created and start seeing it in VR and like kind of start seeing what this is going to look like. So we have a nice rareable um, mint as well. And it might take a while for us to see, uh, to load what people, you know, some actual stores. But this is a, okay, this is a pretty cool one, Lucky Cat. So let's go here. Let's copy this. Let's go here. Let's paste Lucky Cat in. And now let's see Lucky Cat in VR. See, this is this is like honestly one of the coolest things um, in my opinion about like the crypto space, about mint base, about what you can do is instantly now I can show, so I think this like Orvard, your question about like how do I get started like displaying this content to people who want to buy my NFTs. Well, right here you can see how, um, you know, people can see this and you, you can't click in and buy it yet, but look, I clicked it or I got close and it showed me what the name of it is. Uh, eventually you could see how we could have a, a description on the side. You could make some things editable um, for users as long as you're logged in with your near account. Um, we could have it to where you can send this link to investors now and they can kind of, or people who want to purchase, uh, people you know, who want to buy your art, who want to see what you're working, you're, you're working on. And this can kind of be your por portfolio as well as an artist. I and mean, it's pretty cool in my opinion to be like, oh, you know, what's your art portfolio? And you kind of send this link and be like, oh, here's what I'm working on. Right, and you can kind of see, show people, you know, your NFTs. They can see them in pretty good detail uh, in VR, um, and see, you know, what storage, uh, what you're working on on Minfix. Um, yeah, so to me, this is pretty cool. Like to me now, I want to kind of look at more of this, uh, this uh, Lucky Cat's NFTs because um, this is awesome. But yeah, so feel free to, you know, have some fun with that and dig in. Um, that's about the end of the NFT AMA session. I know we didn't get very many questions over. Thank you for your questions. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to pretty much end it there. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming on board. I would definitely suggest jumping into um, the createbase.community page uh, slash hackathon. I'll drop the link one more time for anyone kind of streaming out. Um, yeah, if you have one more question, please ask. Uh, but please drop in there. Uh, you can earn 10 near for any idea you have that supports the creative web through space. So if over the past hour you've gotten any ideas about how to use NFTs, how to use social tokens, how to use governance, I know we didn't go over too much into DAOs and governance, but how to use any of that 
to support the Web3 community. It does not have to be on Near. It could be on Ethereum. It could be on any uh, open source kind of Web3 blockchain project. Um, but please, please submit. Uh, we're taking submissions until, until June 6th. Um, all you have to do is write 500 words of how you think you can support, support the Web3 community, um, like I showed with the ideation for uh, Marma J Foundation, and you can submit that yourself and earn uh, 10 deer. So do a recorded demo from creating a store to do a deploying a store on VR. Um, so this whole thing has been recorded and it's uploaded on the CreateBase YouTube already. Um, but I, we could do a demo eventually uh, of that stream. Um, but on the CreateBase, so again, this website I've been sharing, createbase.community, uh, has all the CreateBase information. So all of our events, our YouTube, our GitHub, and everything you might need is there. Um, so this AMA uh, is, so every Thursday, these AMAs are recorded and live streamed. Um, and so I will make sure that this AMA gets put up um, in a few, shortly after. So uh, it'll be up on the CreateBase YouTube. Um, yeah, perfect. Uh, the Chloe Love channel is usually where I kind of uh, just kind of have fun and live stream me experimenting on the near blockchain for fun. So I'll definitely be doing a lot of mid base experimentation there. Um, as well. So for example, tonight, I might be live on the Chloe Dev Mint base uh, doing our first Marma J uh, NFT Mint. Um, probably will be. Uh, but thank you so much, everyone, and hope you all have um, a wonderful rest of your day. Muchas um, gracias. <laughs>